Ben Narior, it's your boy YG. Chisel Man, if you nasty, we are back with some more Kenny Lofton Jr. My career, and we are getting through this series, man. And I can't lie, I'm excited for you guys to see what we got going on in today's episode. And you can tell by the title and the thumbnail that today's episode is actually Kenny's debut game in the league. No more summer league. We are in the regular season, and my boy Kenny is definitely on the right team. My boy got blessed and was drafted by the Boston Celtics and just a heads up we did have to simulate an entire season so there are some players who aren't on their teams that they're on now but the main guys have stayed especially Jason Tatum 93 overall 24 years of age and he is sticking with the Boston Celtics so is Jalen Brown Boston in the offseason did pick up Kevin Porter Jr so that is amazing and we're just gonna go down the list and you guys can see who is all left on this team and it's looking like boston actually needed a power forward in kenny lofton he is the highest overall power forward right now on this team which usually means he's going to be a starter and speaking of starters this is what the minutes are looking like i actually don't touch this and as you can see all of the suggested minutes are accurate so i do not do this i did not put kenny in the starting lineup actually that was automated by the cpu and if you are not familiar with how this series is going to work and how kenny is going to evolve over the course of this series i'll go ahead and let you know pop up the graphic right now if we win the game we get a plus one if we score 20 points we get another attribute if we get a double double that's another one if we get a triple dub that's another one so there's a possibility of four attribute upgrades if kenny can go crazy but to balance it all out for every two turnovers we get a minus one attribute. So that means we're not gonna be a 90 overall by the time this series is over. It's gonna take some time, just like it would IRL. Now today, we have the unfortunate <laughs> opportunity to go up against the new philadelphia 76ers as you can see james harden did stay on this team this team this team in philly actually didn't change by a lot you see gary payton jr is on that team i think he came from the lakers but well this is the first game in the episode that kenny will be playing this is his debut game so i just definitely had to show you guys so let's stop talking about it let's go ahead and be about it bobby let's get into today's game let's get it yes sir beautiful philadelphia debut game y'all see the process and i think his process might almost be complete look at the starting lineup for the 76ers nothing really much changed for them debut games take it with me chat jump ball get it get it jump ball get it get it oh lord debut game for kenneth lofton jr with the boston celtics and as you can see they are actually down by four Kevin Porter Jr. had to throw something up. Great rebound right there. Kenneth wide open in the paint. First NBA points for Kenneth Lawton Jr. is a standing dunk. Should have been a and one, but it is what it is. You know, you're not going to get every call that you want, especially as a rookie, but you see Kenneth snagging the board only down by two and just running the floor and and i believe this is exactly what boston saw in kenneth lofton jr and, and they want some more of it you know what i mean they definitely want some more look at the block right there grabbing it we need to push the fast break we need to keep our foot on their neck especially in philadelphia 31 to 32 10 minutes left and the coach has got kenneth running the ball running the plays and you love to see it right here Big mismatch. Look at the reverse jam. Come on, chat. Kenneth is looking like a man among boys right now. And you love to see it. Like I said, debut game. We really need Kenny to go crazy to prove his value. Look at the dunk. Had to get aggressive because we didn't know if Joel was going to try to block that or not. You feel me? And you love to see it. Like I said, another board. 12 points, four boards, two assists. Late. Well, not late. Kind of early in his second. Look at the spinoff. The boys are still flopping. <laughs> that must be a trend because we saw that a lot in the draft combine. The boys love to flop when big body Kenny, you know what I'm saying, come through. Look at that. Still almost a turnover. You know we do not need those. But we find him Pritchard. And he was in the summer league with us. So we know he got the scrap on him. You feel me? Look at the boy right there just coming in like a thief in the night. 16 missed call, chat. 
dump down to Kenny Pump fake just to make sure. And 2K said that was wide open. I love it. Right here, we let Tobias shoot that. We got takeover. So you know we trying to take over. Fast forward, give me the ball back. Got the step on Thibault. And again, we are not getting these foul calls, Chat. And I, I promise you, they fouling us. Six point lead, and this is the guy I want to win MVP right here. I'm not gonna lie. Jason Tatum really goes crazy. And I, I kind of want to facilitate Jason Tatum as much as possible. He did he did decide to stay in Boston. And you know, we, we gotta make him feel weapon. And look at look at whoo, my lord, Porter Jr. with the stealth bike. And he's mistreated too. We got a lot of people on this team that are dogs jason tatum jalen brown porter jr like our whole starting five is amazing and speaking of amazing that was a crazy run right there from boston sending a big body for jason and jason's gonna find kenny at the rim but you gotta move without the ball baby so you can get to the rim 102 to 83 here in philadelphia calling for the iso against James Harden, and that is a plethora of jabs, but look who's wide open in the corner, cashing me outside. And this team is amazing as far as getting assists. Look at the pass, the quick kick out to Jalen Brown. He's just ready to shoot, and I'm not going to hold you guys. I'm definitely assist hunting right now. I would love for Kenny to have a triple-double in his debut game, and it just seems like the assists are falling in my lap. Bike to bike to bike to bike. <laughs> the assists were coming in easily. We win the jump ball right there, 115 to 96. And look at the put back, the athleticism. Look at Kenny with the little athleticism. Boy, got a little bounce to him. And we still need two assists to complete the triple double. And I'm not gonna lie, we did make some dangerous passes here. 49 seconds left. You know, it ain't no sportsmanship for Hall of Fame CPU. And we destroy Philadelphia, 125 to 101. Kenny with an amazing triple-double night. 26 perks, 16 boards, 10 assists, and only three turnovers, and we win the game. We need to go ahead and get the upgrades, you feel me? So we definitely won the game, got 20 points, got a double-double and a triple-dub. And like I said, that is the max possible upgrades that we can get, which is four. But we did have three turnovers, so we got to do minus one. So now we got three attribute upgrades that we can put on Kenny. And I'm not going to hold you. I feel that Kenny is a little weak when it comes to contesting shots. So we're going to do plus three on Kenny's block, which moves his block to a 65. And trust me, this is gonna be great moving forward for Kenny, especially when it comes to guarding other bigs. Jumping right into game two of the episode. Oh yeah, that's how we're gonna do the rest of this series and our other collegiate series. We're definitely gonna put two games in one so that we can upgrade our players as much as possible before the end of that first season. And we are going up against Charlotte right now and look at my man, my MVP. Jason Tatum cashing me outside and look at the block from Kenny. What did I tell y'all? Fast forward, fumbled the ball, but I'm getting it right back, putting it up. That's exactly what I like to see. Quick turnarounds. Look at the dunk right there. I feel like Kenny definitely got a little bit more bounce to him too, Chad. I don't know. You tell me. But that's what I like to see. A quick turnaround on our investment. That plus three attribute on Kenny's block definitely surprised me, especially when he came out and got that block. And look at the step. I don't know, bro. It's like it's like we upgraded his block, and my boy got a lot more bounce to him. I don't know what it is, but something happened. And right now, bro, I'm not gonna hold y'all. I was assist hunting this entire game because I definitely wanted another triple double. We already got 20 points. We are blowing 
Charlotte out by 13. And you see the, the boards, of course, obviously just continue to go up. We got 26, 15, and 7 right now. Need three more assists, and we are moving right through this game. And look, Mo Bumble is on the team. I had no idea. <laughs> but this score is outrageous, 93 to 77. So I just took liberty. Liberty, liberty, liberty. You feel me? I took liberty and went ahead and tried to get as many assists as possible before Coach sat your boy down. And, of course, I had to feed the beast Mo Bumble. And, yes, I do have to show you some highlights of the mismatch. Melo just too weak, cannot guard Kenneth down low, even on, even moving without the ball, got him jumping out of his beautiful shoes, getting through the rim with the Euro. And they need a timeout because them boys definitely got beat. And Kenny gets his first player of the game on the season. And I, like I said, bro, the plus three on his block did something amazing for Kenneth. And they win the game. Kenneth gets another triple-double, over 20 points. So that's another four assists. But we still got three turnovers, man. And we are back to give my boy Kenny his plus three again. We, we, we so close to getting plus four. There are so many things we could put these plus three attributes on, but I'm not going to hold you guys. 65 block was good to get that one block, but I need to see better contests from Kenny just, just to make sure my boy is sturdy. So we're going to use that plus three on his block to put him at a 68 block. And I know some of you guys probably want me to put it on his shooting so he can be more versatile on offense, but we will get to that. Trust me. Don't worry, we got plenty of episodes left. Also, I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section, would you like to see Kenny wearing any other different type of shoes? Let me know because we pretty much still in the Adidas that we were wearing from college. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video, man. If you did, make sure you guys leave it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on post notifications if you are new to the channel and you wanna see some more NBA 2K content just like this. And I got you guys, but until the next one, man, peace. Kenny's about to show them why, but Charlotte, <laughs> is actually going to show you why they are winning and why they made it to the championship round. It seems just it just seems like everything that look at Patrick Baldwin getting to the realm. But fast forward because it seems like everything that Charlotte wanted they got. But Kenny's coming right back